Hello and welcome back. So today it's 20 facts about me, but five of those are fake because I thought it would be an interesting twist and I have seen other YouTubers do this, so I have taken the inspiration, but I'm not copying. Um, it just seemed like a really fun idea to do. So let me know in the comments afterwards which ones you thought were fake and I will let you know in next week's video in the description which ones were actually fake. And just quickly, if you have a 4K monitor or TV, you can watch this in 4K. I mean, you could click on 4K anyway, but it's not going to make any difference if you don't have the correct equipment to watch it in. But I got the iPhone 6S on Friday, the day it came out, and so I thought, hey, let's try out the 4K. So this is a really weird one, but I actually hate eating without like matching knives and forks. Like, we seem to have loads of different ones, and unless they're from the same set, I just I can't stand it. If it's someone else's house, if it's a restaurant or anything, I don't mind, but in my house because i know that we have a set that matches i just can't eat without them it's really weird my favorite animal is a monkey i have an extreme fear of wasps and bees absolutely hate them they scare the life out of me one came near me the other week uh when i was cleaning my car i just ran like right across the road i didn't look if there was anything in the road coming at me i just i just ran no, I'm, I'm, I don't like them. They scare me. I've been stung by them before. Absolutely hate those things. I won £10,000 on the lottery once. I remember this. I was 17 and I went in. I just bought a lottery ticket because I thought, why not? Scratching it away and you get like, this one was um, three numbers that need to match. And it said 10,000. I was like, you know, you check it a load of times to make sure you're actually looking at, you know, what it actually is. Uh, I've, I've kind of spent all the money now though. Um, yeah. Even though I'm 19, and this is gonna sound so weird and pathetic and stupid, and I know it's not really ever gonna happen, but I sometimes still get a little bit scared that something's gonna grab me from underneath the bed. Like, I don't know why, I think the Doctor Who Listen episode really didn't help where those things just grabbing your feet and stuff from under the bed, but it was really, really odd, and it's just scary, and I always think about it. To be honest, I thought about it before the Doctor Who episode as well, but that really hasn't helped the fear. It's not all the time either, so it can vary, but uh, yeah, just, just a weird fact about me. On a trip to Safari Park once, I asked if giraffes lay eggs. Can we just say no more about this, please? My favourite holiday was Australia. Like, that holiday was absolutely amazing, and I'm not really sure why I'd lie about this, especially the fact that you know I've been to Australia if you've seen the Travelling the World video. A nice, shameless promotion plug thing there um <laughs> yeah but I, I don't know why i'd lie about that one but yeah it's an awesome holiday three weeks in australia and uh, yeah really really awesome i have eight siblings i'll usually say i don't like something before i've even tried it so generally with food like if someone says do you want to try this or do you want to have this or do you like this i just say no i'll just look at it and i'll just say no i've no i probably the chance i've probably never had it obviously sometimes i will have actually had it and don't like it Chance I'll just look at it. Nah, it doesn't look very nice. I'll just I won't try it. But yeah, it's just just me. I rode a horse once and it threw me off. And um, yeah, it really really hurt actually. I almost I think I almost broke my leg or something. But uh, thankfully I didn't. I just really really hurt myself and the the horse was just really mean. I have five Blue Peter badges. So if you don't know what Blue Peter is, if you're like not British or I don't know if it showed in other countries actually, but it's this show where they do things and. Like every child in Britain probably always wanted to get Blue Peter badges and somehow I have five. Um, they're all legitimate. But uh, yeah, it's I, it's really hard to explain. They just do a load of things with it. They do challenges. It's kind, it kind of reminds me like YouTubers actually saying that. My first word, as a baby obviously, was poop. I dropped out of school because I'm an idiot. I went to the opening, okay this is really sad, but I went to the opening of an Apple store in Reading a few years ago or whenever it opened, um, just because I wanted the t-shirt, you know, kind of got up at like, I don't know, some stupid time at half six or something and got into town at like half seven. It didn't open till 10, so we just stood in the queue for ages, but uh, got the t-shirt, which is limited edition and never coming back out again. So kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if anyone else does this and I'm gonna be really interested to see if anyone else does, but when I buy new clothes, whatever it is, well, maybe not so much underwear, but even then I still wash them. So when I get new clothes, I will wash them straight away before wearing them i wash them and then i just won't wear them for several months like i have a pair of jeans that i just haven't worn for several months i have a pair of tracksuits which i haven't worn for several months in fact i got both of these just before or after the holiday still haven't worn them my favorite band are one direction i'm adopted i don't like the feeling of napkins honestly when i'm in a restaurant or wherever a napkin may be i would just pick it up like this and just move it off the knife and fork or grab the knife and fork out of the napkin and just remove the napkin as far away as possible. Obviously if I need to clean like my face or something, 
I'll use them and for some reason then it doesn't have the same feeling. But just generally touching them, it's like, even thinking about it makes me shiver. I never learned how to swim, you know, just swimming around. Like, you know, I can, I can splash about and, and stuff, but I can't go further where I could stand up because I don't know how to swim. Many years ago, many, many years ago actually, when we were on an aeroplane and we were in the air flying, obviously it's generally what you do on an aeroplane, I um, kind of asked if we, we had stopped in the air because I, 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 don't, I don't really know why I asked that, but I did. Because I'm a great child that makes so much sense. And that's it for 20 facts about me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and uh, cause you know, it really helps me out and shows me that you're enjoying the video. And let me know which ones you thought were fake in the comments below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you next time.